so the last uh, video that we discussed, we were talking about another crystal parameter, which was the coordination number. And so in this video, we're talking about like the third and well, not really. There's no really order for this, but the other uh, crystal parameter, which is the atomic packing factor. So this is another um, number. Probably want to know this one. Um, which also helps define um, a lattice. So what an atomic packing factor is, is you picture just the shape of, um, say yourself, say if I was going to pick my simple cubic, Joshua. So that was uh, over here. Yeah, so imagine my, my simple cubic structure, but say if I only limited myself to the centers of every, uh, of every sphere, and then imagine if I just cut out just the cube that joins all of them. So then I would just get, just get me my good old, yeah, okay, I clearly cannot draw great. Please do excuse me. Okay, so um, each, each corner is the center of a sphere. So let's say if I get, comes around, comes around, and comes down down, across, down, across, up, up, like that, yeah? So imagine each one like is its own like quarter, no, eighth, is it eighth? Yeah, eighth, sorry, eighth of a sphere. Uh, out of all these eighths of a sphere, so out of this entire cube, how much of it is filled up by the others? Yeah, so out of, out of every unit cell cube, how much of it is like taken up by these atom spheres so that when they're touching each other. Yeah. So in some sense, the atomic packing factor is like a measure of what, how, how the atoms are packed together. Pretty obvious. Yeah. Um, the atomic pack packing factor may be um, vaguely related to the density, but I'll confirm and deny, well, deny this later on. But yeah, so it gives some vague sense of like how packed or dense everything is together. Um, so for the formulas for each of these, uh, uh, I'll, I'll work out and derive a lot of these. So um, yeah, I'll yeah, uh, I'll give um, the times in the in the description for each of um, where exactly the numbers are. So if you wanted to skip derivations and all that, um, you can just get to, straight to the numbers. But these uh, derivations are somewhat important because in exams, they'll just ask you to like solve some of these. Um, and it's always good to know these by, like at, um, at hand. So say for example, for a sim simple cubic structure, uh, to solve for this atomic packing factor. So now we have um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spheres. And say, um, and you know that, um, so the volume of a cube, say for example, um, like each sphere, each sphere has radius r. Just for our convenience, um, generally the r should cancel. So the volume of our cube is going to be, so this is one r, it's going to be two r, right? So it's going to be 2r cubed. Yeah, so that's just going to be 8r cubed. Okay, so the volume of the spheres, though, uh, what's that going to be? That's going to be so 8 times 1 eighth of, of a volume of a sphere, of one sphere. So that's going to be 4 thirds pi r cubed. So those cancel. So you just get 4 thirds pi r cubed. So then here you just divide them out. So then you just get, which is just four thirds pi divided by eight, which in our case is going to be pi of six. So yeah, four and eight cancel, and then the third comes out at the end. So yeah, your atomic pack packing factor for a simple cubic is going to be pi of six.
the generalized formula. Well, spheres, but in our case, it would be atoms. But yeah, works the same way. Yeah. Um, so the atomic packing factor. Use a different color for this. So for different. Yeah. A P F. Say for I'm say I'm going B C C. So uh, how the B C C looks like. So we're going to have. that sort of thing um, but then yeah you're gonna have the same and then like that comes around then there's gonna be another one then there's gonna be uh, whoops and then like with with some depth in the center is then it's going to have like one big sphere right so then in our case you're gonna have um, here you're joining the centers of everyone, right? So here you're going to have two atoms. Because these, um, imagine there's like another like back round. Yeah, there's one in the back, um, one across, also in the back. So that just comes around, sort of. Yeah. And then there's one more that comes. Please do uh, excuse my terrible drawing. These eight are meant to touch this middle one. So you're going to have eight. So here, that's just eight times one eighth plus the one in the center. In our case, that's just going to be one plus one. Yeah. Um, so you're going to have two atoms that's taken up in each unit cell. And now you need to know like how big the volume of the cell is, right? So say if I... Um, went in point-wise yeah like that um, so what you know is that if you start from this this blue point actually no that looks terrible this blue point to that blue point you go through this bottom corner you go through two radii and then you go through one radius of the top right corner. So in our case, you, you know that um, that this length, that's going to be four radii. Yeah. Um, another thing is that we can define the um, side length of a cube as A. The, the thing is that the, the atoms aren't touching here. So you can't make the simple relationship here because here they are. So... Um, now what we're going to have to use is a little bit of Pythag. So now if I use across this way, so A and A, this is going to be root 2A. So Pythagoras, just as simple as that. And then if you look at um, this triangle, and then down. So now this length is going to be root, uh, so that's going to be, yeah, that's root 2A. And then this is also A, so then this length is also going to be root 3A root 3a. So then this is a relationship A to the L. So that you can say that um, 4r equals yeah, equals root 3a. And so that means you can say that finally that a is equal to 4 on root 3 r. And then from here you can actually just get the volume itself is equal to a cubed, which in our case is going to be 4 cubed on root 3 cubed. What's that? That's uh, 64 on 3 3. Um, that's going to be an r cubed there. But yeah, r cubed. So this is, this is the volume of the cell. The volume of the atoms. Atoms is just going to be 2 times the volume of one atom, which is just 2 times 4 thirds pi r cubed, 8 thirds pi r cubed. Now if you divide these two, so volume atoms, so APF, um, divided by the volume of the cell. So now just dividing these two, we get 8 thirds pi and then the r's cancel, the r cubed, so um, you get 64 on 3, 3, 
and so the threes should cancel and the eight and the sixty-four. So it should be uh we get pi on eight root over root three. Yeah, so then that's just gonna be root three pi on eight. Yeah, if I did my cancellation correctly, then it should come out to this. Yeah, so that's that's the um, atomic packing factor for. Ah, uh, wait, that's that's terrible. Two, eight, we need to go back. My bad. Yeah, so the atomic packing factor for, uh, for BCC. That, um, the relationship between A and R is also really important. So wait, no, not that one. Uh, yeah, this this relationship. Yeah, pretty important. Um, sometimes you'll be asked to derive formulas like this in exams just to pick up like a whole lot of marks. So just memorizing these or just knowing the method, um, those are like mini marks for you. Uh, lastly, um, we have our FCC, APF. Yeah. Uh, which is now you. Now I'm going to consider one face rather than the entire cube. So we have an atom in the center, we have an atom in the corner, an atom in the corner, another atom. Uh, they're not meant to be touching. There's a distance. But this is there's a distance there. Touch. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Um, now you know that this length is a, this length is a, and likewise, uh, like before, we're going to have this distance as four r. And so now you can see that the relationship you can get which is 4r is equal to root 2 a. And now you can just say a is equal to 4r on root 2. Uh, kind of simplifies to 2 root 2 r. And now you can just say a cubed equals the following self, which is just uh, a e a, if I want to go with that. Um, is that root 2 cubed? That's like 2 root 2 root 2, root two again. And then 2 cubed, that's 9 cubed. Okay, so that's 16 root 2. R cubed. And then the volume of atoms. Now you're going to have... So now you have to like picture and visualize this. So just go... I know this isn't a, a great cube, but I hope you're able to understand. So there's going to be... Here you're going to consider half an atom because half of it is in this cell and then half is in this cell in front. Yeah, so half here, half here, half in the back, half in the top. Um, and then you're going to have in each corner as well, you're going to have one eighth. Got to put that effort into that R. <laughs> okay, so um, just the ones indicated by the green dots. Oh wait, no, green dots. Um, those are one eighth. This is one eighth, one eighth, one eighth. Um, I counted multiple twice, but like still. So one, two, three, four, five. So each corner, and each corner, there's eight corners in a cube. So um, corner is not a great term, especially for the math kids here. But yeah, so there's um, eight times one eighth of a sphere, right? Um, and then you're gonna have like these middle halves. So that's one, two, three, and then you're gonna have one in the bottom. Four, five, and then one in the back, six. So then you're going to have uh, plus, so you have um, six times one half atoms. So in total, you're going to have one, and then here you're going to have three. So that's four atoms that we have left. So in total, four atoms in each unit cell. And so the volume of atoms is just four times the volume of one atom. So in our case, that's going to be um, volume atoms which is 4 times the volume of one atom, which is uh, 4 thirds pi r cubed. Dividing these two now, you'll just get, um, well, simplify this first, 1 3 pi r cubed. Now the r cubes again cancel, so uh, taking another line, volume atoms over volume cell, yeah. Now you're going to get 16 on 3. 16 pi on 3. The r cubes cancel, but still, yeah. 16 root 2 r cubed. Go away, go away. 
canceling here so funny maths I mean sort of but okay so now the 16 goes away 16 goes away so now you're gonna have pi divided by 2 root 3 yeah and so that's what the um, atomic packing factor for FCC is.